Yo, what's going on, Roots Collection? This is your main man, QP, and I'm sitting on here at our office chopping it up with the one and only New Orleans finest, Miss Keita Black. Keita Black, how you doing today? It's a pleasure to have you I'm okay. You, you here. already know what it's here for. Keita Black in the building. You heard me. Oh, yeah. You know, she's straight out of New Orleans, everybody out there that's listening. Now, you know, Keita, before we get started, I want to say thank you for taking time out your busy schedule, for coming here and chopping it up with us and giving us this interview. A little exclusive one-on-one. -on -one. You know, we try to keep it like that with the Roots Collection. So thank you once again, you know. You're welcome. All right. Now, um, you know, I know you're a very busy woman, so I'm not going to take too much of your time, you know. I just want to sit down and get people who are not familiar with you, familiar with you, and those who are familiar with your music, familiar with who you are, where you come from as far as your music, some of your inspirations and things of that nature. You think we might be able to get that done today? Yes, most definitely. All right. Now, um, one of the first questions I want to ask you, like, Coming up as a child, you know, um, what artists influenced you to want to be an artist and be a musician? Um, actually, actually, I was heavy on like Tupac, mm -hmm. Biggie, um, Foxy Brown, one okay. of the female artists that yeah. really inspired me. Oh, all right. Now, um, when did you first decide that rapping or performing is something that you wanted to do? Because from what I hear, I heard you did poetry or something when you was younger, if I'm not mistaken. Well, actually, um... Coming up, um, I started, I, the first thing I noticed that I can do was art, drawing. Okay. I was very good at drawing things when I see it, I could draw it. Um, okay. Then I began, I, I signed up and my mom took me for testing and I, you know, was eligible for talented individual arts, All right. which was a program the state um, had to provide for me by, you know, me being great in arts. Great. And then nice I went into poetry. So okay. I started doing art work with my poetry and I started making cards for kids to wow. bring home to their parents and stuff like that. Then I started noticing that I, you know, had this thing where I could make words rhyme and stuff, then I moved into rapping and how I right. make a little rap and stuff like that. But um, actually, I've been doing it since elementary. Oh, that's good. About age of eight years old, eight, nine ish, whatever. Um, so that's was something. And I also was a great dancer, so dancing ran in my family. We've seen you dancing a little bit yeah, in some so, of the um, Yeah, we know you know how to dance. Actually, I was great in dancing. Um, that was something that I've been noticed. Um, so. Everything just fell in place. That's great. And as a young girl, I was always um, put into tennis shows and the late Soldier Slim. R.I.P. Soldier Slim. Slim. Everybody out there should know who Soldier Slim is. If you don't know, you need to find out. Right. Rest in peace, Slim. Right. His auntie, um, she used to teach me. So uh -huh. she taught me stage presence at a young age. And okay. she'll put me in fashion shows and to, she'll put me into different little things that they'll have for the kids, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, like tanning shoes and stuff All like right. that. And she'll teach me a little routine. Yeah. So that never actually left me All right. when I did decide to step out, you know, as an artist. That's good. So you 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 multifaceted. You know, she she can make art. She can do poetry. She can dance. She can MC. She can do it all. So you know, we definitely appreciate you being that type of artist to where you appreciate the true art form because you learned it at such a young age. So that's a big thing right there. Now I know you talked about when you did your music at the beginning. You remember your first rap? Um, I'm not gonna actually rap, really. but if you remember some. I'm not gonna. I don't actually remember. My first rap, mm -hmm. because actually this was in my passion. This was in something. I have a lot of talents. Yeah. I, I, I used to do hair. Okay. I'm a nursing assistant, dietist, a technician. I own my own nursery, transportation wow. service. I am just awesome. Okay. I, I should never be broke. But anyway, <laughs> right. Um, to make a long story short, I did it, but this was in something that I say when I grow up, I want to be a rapper. Okay. Actually, um, my cousin, the late Magnolia Shardy, you okay. know, rest I hope y'all know Magnolia about Shardy, Shardy not man. YouTube, but check her man, out. Rest in She's peace. awesome. She was an awesome artist, Queen of Bounce, and I'm holding it down for her. So most definitely. Um, actually, this was something that she took on, and this is something that she really wanted to do. We did okay. it together. You know what I'm saying? We used to rock the block parties. Mm -hmm. We used to rap and sing inside of church. Right. So we had our own little routine thing we had going on, and. Once, you know, I rapped a baby before she rapped a baby. Okay. And, you know what I'm saying? She actually wound up being with baby and them or whatever. So when she got with them, I danced for her. Okay. And, you know, I backed her up and I always supported her in her movement. Actually, I feel like I planted my seeds within her. Right, right. Or whatever. So now, since she passed or whatever, I decided to step out. And it's not actually like I said, oh, she died. I'm mm -hmm. about to just carry on. You know what I'm saying? The legacy, I'm about to keep it going for no 
I don't know how I wound up being in the studio. Yeah. When I got in the studio, going to support somebody else, and uh -huh. then they wind up getting me in the boot, and then I got in the boot, and I was playing yeah. around and came up with Hammer. Oh, speaking of Hammer, and that's, that's a good, I have that's a good way to segue. Now, you know, we go we, now we go talk about some of the most popular songs that we know from Miss Keeley Black. Mm -hmm. And since she spoke on Hammer, it would only be right for us to discuss that one a little bit. Now, with that song there, you know, I, I was actually in the club last week, or maybe a week or two ago, you know, supporting one of my friends at a party. And that song came on, and I noticed that every female in the party went crazy when they heard that song. It seemed like the shyest girls in the party that night just let loose and had a good time. Like, what kind of, how did, what kind of feeling you get when you see the reaction of people you know, to when people give you to songs like that, some of your biggest singers, how did that make you feel to see how they respond and react when they hear that song? Um, actually, it's crazy, like I told you, because when I went in the studio, I was actually going to put this song down. Right. And this song just took off right. like an eagle. It you sure know what I'm saying? Did. It just took off, and it, radios went to picking up. I went to get rotation, everything. And it was true blessing, you know what I'm saying? Almighty and all thanks to God. Amen. It, it's a successful movement, and I'm going to keep it going. But it's crazy, like, just to see, not only in New Orleans or Louisiana, right. this, I'm talking it's Chicago, crazy. I'm talking about Detroit, I'm talking about California. Wow. It's kind of amazing. And the first thing I just. All I can do is just say thank you, God. You know, yeah. it's just awesome. You know how this song just picked up, and every time I drop one, it's just right. You know, but it don't have that energy like Hammer. Yeah, Hammer, man. It's something about Hammer, that very first one. We, we might have to get a sound clip or something. And for you, for those of y'all who are not familiar with Hammer, we will have to let y'all hear that. But you know, I definitely could vouch for the fact that that song gets the ladies going right. in the party. And it I gets, have to shout out Blackie Mile. He did his thing. Um, I don't think another engineer would have been able to right. do it like he did it, and I just want to shout him out for that. Shout mm -hmm. out to Black and Mild, because we always hear the beginning of our tracks. It's your girl, Keaton Black, <laughs> with DJ Black, Biggie Black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, I listen to your music, man, because I ain't got no choice. If I'm in the party and I see the girls dancing, you know, I'm in the atmosphere, so I'm right. going to pay attention, and you're definitely inspirational and in helping women enjoy themselves in the club. Right. Now, um, some of your other singles, like Rock My World, um, bad and coming to my bedroom, you know, which is one of your more recent singles. You know, if you want to take a little time to tell them a little bit about some of those other singles that you have. Um, actually, um, Rock My World was the one that came behind Hammer. Okay. And actually, me and Black and I was just in the studio. We were sitting around and just trying to see what we was going to come up with. Uh -huh. And I just went to thinking and I was like, it's getting late. I can't make it. And I said, what you think about that? And he was like, yeah, keep going. Mm -hmm. And then we just was playing around, and mm -hmm. before you know it, I got in the boot, and I did it, and he put his touches on, and it, yeah. and it became an awesome song. Right. Rest in peace to the late Michael Jackson. We used his sample on that, and it was right. a great, successful project or whatever. So that's what rocked my world, and the next one after that, I did with Black and My also, uh -huh. Bad. Yeah. Or whatever, you know. I like that song, too. That's something because I noticed, like, a lot of females, they like bad guys. Right. You know what I'm saying? The, the good guys don't get a good chance. You right. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, well, maybe this some that'll get them. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the <laughs> true little right. theory of saying, you know, I like bad. That's my yeah. problem. Uptown, and I just was actually shouting out the areas and stuff like okay. that. Or whatever. So, you know, that was a nice one. And it's still picking up, and, yeah. you know, so it's still doing this movement. And I just dropped one. Get you some. You got the oh, yeah, 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 posters. Yeah, yeah. The people the we, we letting everybody know. This Let the poster see. right here. Get you so some. So they got a YouTube it. Get your CDs. Get your music. Kitty Black. Get you some. Support the movement. Shout out to all my fans. I love y'all. I got my CD. Right. You better believe that. Now, um, something else I want to talk to you about. I know you know you're familiar with the term twerk. You familiar with that term? Yes, now, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, when I first heard the term twerk, it was back in the day with Cheeky Black and then when they were saying twerk something and all that stuff right. like that. And now we see in Atlanta, you know, they're calling this dance craze twerking, but you don't see that some of the dance moves coming kind, of kind of reminiscent to how women dance in New Orleans? Actually, it is, it is and it was something that was discovered, and you know what I'm saying? It's our style, our right. fashion. But I guess to the world, they make mm -hmm. all it twerk right. or whatever, but... As the years passed, they put a different name on it. Because uh -huh. remember when it first started with T.T. Tucker and it was pop. Pop. You know what I'm saying? You was popping. Right. Or whatever. And then it became 
the next thing I forgot what that was. They called it another name, and mm -hmm. now we're calling it bounce. Right. So everybody have their own name for it, like in different regions and mm -hmm. different areas. Twerk, bounce. Right. You know what I'm saying? Pop, music, or right. whatever you may want to call it, but it's still New Orleans flavor. New Orleans flavor. No matter flavor. what y'all do with it, whatever you guys call it, where y'all from, this still New Orleans. This is where it started. And this is New Orleans right here. Right. I so, am New Orleans. So get yourself. Keep it right. black. <laughs> now, um. We know, you know, and this is your single, Get Your Son Now, do you want to take time to tell them about some of the things away from music? Like, you know, I know during All-Star Weekend, you had a Stop the Violence Memorial and Tribute to Magnolia Shorty. And um, from what I understand, you're over a group that um, mentors young ladies right. from, um, from different negative situations or underprivileged families. You want to talk a little bit about that? Well, actually, um, I am a mentor. I mentor to the youth, and mm -hmm. I'm a magnet. And the reason I say I'm a magnet is because of my music. Okay. They all love my music, but I always tell them my music is for grown-ups. My music is for adults, not children. So if you mm -hmm. let your children listen to my music, then hey, that's what you let your children listen to. But the kids, they love my music. They love my style. They love Kitty Black. So that's uh -huh. how I get the uh, the attraction on mm -hmm. them. That's how I get the magnet. So when they get to meet me, they're not looking for a mentor. Right. They're looking for Kitty Blake, right. Bounce, yeah, let's yeah. go, and all this and all that. Then I hit them with the positivity, and I grab them, and I pull them in. Right. And that's the best thing that I like about it, because mm -hmm. like a book, you don't judge, you don't judge it by the cover. Right. So once you open it up, and you think you're about to get something else, and here you getting, you know what I'm saying, more yeah, of a more positive cool. message. Right. So that's the, what I love about what the youth and how I get to them, you know what I'm saying, and I'm a mentor, and I'm proud of it. And I love to tell my story mm -hmm. to make someone else better, you know what I'm saying? Because I went through a lot as a child coming right. up, so I'm heavy with the youth. Mm -hmm. um, actually, my mom was in and out of my life probably at a young age, so at the age of 14, I was mm -hmm. on my own and I was raising my siblings. So I had to get it how I live. Right. So I just want to let them know if I can do it, you know what I'm saying? All the successful things that I'm doing in life, right. you guys could do it just as well. So I also talk to them about personal hygiene, right. we talk about um, sex, we talk about diseases, and you know what I'm saying, we talk about careers, right. and, you know what I'm saying, so we talk about the future, we talk about presence, past, mm -hmm. so I, you know, like, let them open up and I let them get comfortable with me so we can talk about things they make, you know, don't talk about things right. with their parents, or some of them don't have parents, and, you know what I'm saying, I play that role and I support them, okay. and, you know what I'm saying, so it's like bigger than Kitty Black, you right. know what I'm saying, uh, just midterm. Or whatever. I just want to touch some kids' lives and make a difference. You know, one day they can say, "Well, Kitty Black made a difference in my life." So that's, that's cool. what I do. And we start at the age of seven to seventeen. Actually, to eighteen, I prepare them for college. Okay. You know, I bring them on the campus, mm -hmm. and I do different things with them. It's so amazing. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have sponsors, and I do these wow. things out my pocket. And the name, well, I call them black dolls. Okay. They're kitty black, they're black dolls. You know, they're my dolls, so they're black dolls. Oh, right. It's awesome. You know, I surprise them, and we do a lot of things. I also take my time, and I teach them dance. We don't do bounce or twerk <laughs> or whatever you guys may call it. Actually, I teach them marching steps, okay. and I get someone to come in and teach them ballet. You know, hip hop and All the right. things that I don't know how to do. So they're learning different styles yeah. of dancing. So they're learning That's different good. styles just to keep them busy. Mm -hmm. And when I started the MMM movement, I actually started preparing some of them to model and, okay. you know what I'm saying, to do fashion shows. I set up my own fashion shows and stuff like that. All right. So we do a lot of things and, That's you know, good, I just prepare them for the future and, you know, just try to make yeah. things better for the youth. So that's what I'm doing. I also have a Stop the Violence movement, which is called Stomp the Violence. Um, actually started behind Shorty. You know, okay. I lost Shorty the violence. I also lost my son's father Sorry, to yeah. violence um, before. So I, you know, know the side of being on the other side of losing someone. Right. And I know the feeling of being on the other side, you know right. what I'm saying, of being in the streets and, yeah. you know, being a part of the violence side. So I try to use that energy as a positive thing into my community mm -hmm. and bring everyone together and understand, you know, that the hurt and the tears and the pain that we're going through. So I use Shorty, you know what I'm saying, as a, a big old, you know, just to start the movement. And actually this is my fourth, I'm going on my fourth annual okay. now and at the end of this year. So that's been a successful thing or whatever, oh, yeah. you know, just in memory of her and the kids that we've been losing to violence in our city and stuff like that. So, you know. Man, that's great, man. Hey, everybody out there, see, don't just think it's just about music because 
as we see, she does so much more for the youth, for the community, and everyone that, that embraces her and what she does. So I definitely want to applaud you for that. And anybody out there, you, if y'all want to be a sponsor for anything that she has going on, please reach out because it's for a great cause. Yes. Now, um, moving along, I want everybody to hear from you what's next for Miss, for Miss Keely Black. What's going on next other than your new signal? Sing, single, get you some. Mm, actually, I, like I said, I just dropped Get You Some, so I'm pushing that. And as I'm pushing that, I'm working on other singles. These singles will be more international, mm -hmm. they'll be more war worldwide. Um, I'm working with different producers from okay. different um, states and, you know I'm saying, different areas that's giving a bigger sound. Just want to move this thing, you know, move it to a bigger level on another scale. Right. Or whatever. R.I.P. to my girl, show it. And if I'm going to do it, I'm going to make sure that I do it and I'm going to go and I'm going to be 100 with it. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just a moving, M -M -M, making major moves. So that's actually what I'm doing right now. Right. Making major moves and, you know, just working on different sounds like pop, hip hop. Okay. And just to let people know I don't just do bounce music. I also do hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I, I be spitting. I be getting in. I be making moves. Now, y'all heard that? You heard me. Y'all you know, catch me at Southwest. Southwest. When, when somebody say that they be spitting nine times out of ten, you can't just say that and not prove it. Right. You know, maybe, 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 maybe right now, or maybe in a little while, we might get an exclusive freestyle from Miss Keaton Black. You think you think you might be able to do oh, that? The top. With no beat. Without that beat. No right. beat. Acapella. Acapella. You hear me? Acapella. So, so y'all let me know when y'all ready for We that. might just stay tuned, everybody. We <laughs> might get a freestyle from Miss Keaton Black. <laughs> now, um, Definitely want to thank you again for coming sit down with us and, you know, we might get that freestyle. You know, I want y'all to stay tuned, but, you know, aside from that, before we conclude, if there's anybody you want to give a shout out to, anybody you want to say thank you, just any acknowledgments, you know, we want you to take the time to do that right now. Actually, um, I want to say thank you to all my fans, the ones that's following me, supporting me, buying my music. You know what I'm saying? Root me on on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever they follow me, everywhere I go. Some of them come out from far just to follow me to my shows. I want to say thank you because mm -hmm. you guys make me and I am going to put on and keep making moves for you guys. And it is what it is. I want to shout out TMC. You know what I'm saying? Teen Chihuahua making moves with me everywhere I go. Y'all going to see him. You know, my brother, he's the next upcoming boxer. He do music. Everything, y'all check them out, Dusty, y'all check them out on YouTube. I want to shout out um, Top Black Music. I want to shout out Black and Mile, all the producers I ever worked with, all the upcoming producers, everybody. I want to shout y'all out, you know, right. this collection from having me here today. Appreciate that. Oh, whatever. Just shouting out everybody, you know what I'm saying, supporting and keeping this movement going because without y'all, I don't feel like I'll be here on today, you heard me. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now, before we cut the camera off, now I'm, I got to put you on the spot. You know, we've been vibing. It's been going pretty good. I got to put you on the spot. If there's one thing that you could tell to everybody that's out there listening, just one thing in particular, what would it be? Um, get my city. <laughs> <laughs> you too, me. Check me out. I'm a dope artist. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. I'm making major moves. I have a positive spirit, I'm a motivator, you know what I'm saying, I'm getting it in, I'm a single mother, I'm getting it out the mud, nobody not giving me no handouts, everything y'all see is me, I'm making moves, you heard me, so, and stop the violence. Rouge Collection, I want to thank y'all for tuning in, stay tuned, until next time, we out of here.